Hey guys, YNK here with Robs from FaZe Clan and today we're going to talk about warming up, warm up routine, all of that pre-game or just in general. So first of all, back in the day, what the warm up was basically only death matching. That, that was everything that people did. It's changed a lot since then. So tell me a little bit about your own warm up routine, Robs. To be frank, I don't think much changed for me either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just keep it simple, you know, I just like to load up CS stats. I think it's the map people just used from the beginning when CS2 launched and, you know, one of the first day maps you can play and I just kept using it. Yeah, you just don't it, and play. I mean, I yeah, don't do anything yeah, special. Yeah, it like, does. Uh, so you can have different types of settings, you know, or you just go in and just try to pop some heads. Yeah, just go in and pop some heads. I mean, like, you just play all the different guns you want to play, like AK, M4, you know, just the usual, typical um, USP, Glock, Deagle maybe. Um, off if you know you're gonna play off the matches. <laughs> Do you ever change uh, the, the settings within, you know, the targets moving? Do you have any sort of that routine where maybe you start with targets that are closer up, they're further away, or is it just just coming in and making sure you just warm up the, the whole wrist? Well, on this map, I like to use uh, a takeoff your spawns. So I just use mid, I guess, the two spawns I use. And from here, I just I just play for like um, for however much however much time we have uh, on stage, just warm up. Um, whether it's 30 minutes, sometimes more. Yeah, I just play and s until your arm gets tired and <laughs> you can take a rest and get back at it again. Music or no music? Um, I don't know. Lately, I've been playing without music. I think for a long time I played with music. Obviously, we have access to Spotify in many of the events. I tend to do both. Sometimes I like to get in sync with the game and just listen to the AK sounds or whatever, you know? I guess you're probably the worst player to ask this question, but do you ever have the need to check some of your nades before a game, like to warm up with the utility, right? To make sure the smokes are on point thing. I know that that's, yeah. you're on top of your game when it comes <laughs> to that, but. No, for sure it can happen. I mean, um, the game is still new, so especially if you've just been practicing like new strats or new grenades, especially you need to sometimes check them just before the game. And I know you love KZ uh, and, and KZ maps and all that stuff. So obviously not before the game, but back at home, do you make it a focus to constantly refresh and work on your movement and, and do that? I don't think so. When I play KZ, I actually like to play 1.6. <laughs> but um, I think that's the sad part about CS2 right now. I don't think there's proper support for KZ. I think bunny hopping is dead in the current state yeah. of the game. Yeah, well, kind of ruined that, but it is what it is. Before, probably the only thing you could actually do to, to warm up was death matching or just having actual bots on a proper map. Nowadays, we have, you know, things like CS stats and, and uh, other maps and a lot of different tools uh, that, that you can do to warm up. So have you been using some of this other stuff, pre-fire maps, whether it's these uh, retake setups, anti-execute setups, any, anything like that? I think I've personally never been interested in those things. You know, there's different programs which you can turn your aim. Um, obviously, like, Refrag is really popular right now, but I've personally never been interested in it. Personally, I think it's, you know, very individual thing, whether a person likes it or not. Um, I just prefer to stick to the basics, play deathmatch. Making your time worthwhile is, is enough. So would you say that maybe you spend a decent amount of time on, on theory too, whether it's just thinking about the game or maybe watching uh, demos or something like that? I really like the theorycraft, but it kind of comes and goes. Sometimes like really motivated, sometimes you're not. It comes with burnout and a lot of different factors, but um, I'm a person who likes the theorycraft. I did it a lot in the beginning of CS2. I've done it throughout my career, I think, all, the whole time in CSGO as well. I enjoy coming up with new stuff, thinking outside the box sometimes. All right. I think just for this map specific, when you do it, uh, you change guns, you do a little bit of pistols, a little bit of guns, or it's just AK. It, should, it doesn't matter about the different guns, it's just about the aim feeling good. I think I go through all the guns I mainly use in, in the match. So. All right. I think we've covered pretty much everything. Is there anything else to your Walmart routine? What are you hiding? Any pre-game rituals, special meals, anything like that? No, just make sure you're well slept, well rested. Make sure your mind is in the right place, and I think that's all about all you need. All right, thank you, Rops. This was warm-up theory with Rops. Thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in for the next one. Nice.